I, I don't want to be a slave to Fox Nation, which I don't think that many people watch anyway. Um, we're going to, uh, because I, 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 you know, I'm like a representative of the American media now. Speaking to an exile in Romania and welcoming him back into the Brotherhood of Journalists. Yeah, it would help us out if you wore a sweater, though, because we asked him not to wear a suit. Like, he was panicking about it and said, you don't have to. Tucker's going to be looking uh, casual. That's just how our show looks. Is that okay? I, I, I mean, this is airing on the nighttime show, and I want it to look official. I don't want it to be like bro talk. And I, and I, you know what I mean? Yeah, but the majority of it, like if we go like 45 minutes, it's going to be for Fox Nation. But nobody's going to watch it on Fox Nation. Nobody watches Fox Nation because the site sucks. So I'd really like to just put the dump the whole thing on YouTube. Um, but anyway, that's just my view. Um, uh, I'm just frustrated with the, in, it, it's hard to use that site. I don't know why they're not fixing it. It's driving me insane. And they're like making like lifetime movies, but they don't, they don't work on the infrastructure of the site. Like what? It's crazy. And it drives me crazy because it's like we're doing all this extra work and no one can find it. It's unbelievable, actually. I don't know who runs that site. We're going to play a sizable chunk on the show tomorrow night. That's the plan. And then what it's going to do is drive a lot of people to watch this on Fox Nation. It's going to be a great help to what we're doing over there on TV today. I know, but I, we, we're doing our part. We're like working like animals to produce all this content. And the people in charge of it, whoever that guy's, whatever his name is, like they're ignoring the fact that the site doesn't work. And it, it's, I think it's like a betrayal of our efforts. That's how I feel. So I, of course, I resent it. Tell you what, we've always suspected that Fox Nation was a disaster, but it's really heartening to hear Tucker Carlson have admitted it himself when he thought that no one else was listening. Because per usual, if you want the truth from a conservative media figure, you gotta wait until they're actually off the air. And by the way, the fact that Fox Nation, Fox's digital-only subscription service, is a disaster is no surprise. The average age of Fox's audience is roughly 120 years old, and considering their entire business model is scaring the shit out of old people, they haven't exactly positioned themselves well to be able to appeal to the younger audience who might be able to, oh, I don't know, actually use a streaming service? for starters. And obviously the second point worth mentioning here is that this was all surrounding an interview with Andrew Tate, who's the dude whose entire shtick is telling everyone how much of an alpha he is, which, as we all know, is the number one rule of being an alpha, the fact that you have to tell everyone. Tate is currently under house arrest in Romania on allegations of rape, human trafficking, and forming an organized crime group. That's the guy who Tucker was elevating here by virtue of offering up an interview. I mean, my God, at this point, it's like sexual assault is a prerequisite to have any profile on the right these days. And so when Tucker and the person on the phone, who I presume is some representative of Andrew Tate, are clashing over wardrobe, just remember that Tucker is doing his level best here to push for more formal attire because his goal here is to legitimize someone like Andrew Tate, who, again, is being investigated for rape and human trafficking. Because, yeah, wouldn't want to do anything that could hurt that guy's legitimacy. God forbid the accused rapist isn't set up for success by Tucker and Fox. Now this footage was released by Media Matters, but it would stand to reason that the actual recording happened on set and was kept within Fox's grasp. So in terms of why it got out, consider that Rolling Stone reported that Fox News executives have compiled an oppo file of supposed dirt on Tucker Carlson, which includes internal complaints regarding workplace conduct, disparaging comments he made about management and colleagues, and allegations that he created a toxic work environment. So it's possible that this clip here was just a small sampling of what Fox has on Tucker, although on the flip side, I don't exactly see how it would benefit Fox to release a clip where Tucker basically admits how shitty Fox's own streaming product is. All of which is to say, neither Fox nor Tucker come out of this one as winners. But what is likely is that Tucker spoke plenty freely on set, and that what he said over the years would really come back to hurt him. Which is likely why he recorded this statement after his firing from Fox, which conspicuously fails to actually mention... Fox. One of the first things you realize when you step outside the noise for a few days is how many genuinely nice people there are in this country, kind and decent people, people who really care about what's true, and a bunch of hilarious people also, a lot of those. It's gotta be the majority of the population, even now. So that's heartening. The other thing you notice when you take a little time off is how unbelievably stupid most of the debates you see on television are. They're completely irrelevant. They mean nothing. In five years, we won't even remember that we had them. Trust me, as someone who's participated. 
And yet at the same time, and this is the amazing thing, the undeniably big topics, the ones that will define our future, get virtually no discussion at all. War, civil liberties, emerging science, demographic change, corporate power, natural resources. When was the last time you heard a legitimate debate about any of those issues? It's been a long time. Debates like that are not permitted in American media. Both political parties and their donors have reached consensus on what benefits them, and they actively collude to shut down any conversation about it. Suddenly, the United States looks very much like a one-party state. That's a depressing realization, but it's not permanent. Our current orthodoxies won't last. They're brain dead. Nobody actually believes them. Hardly anyone's life is improved by them. This moment is too inherently ridiculous to continue, and so it won't. The people in charge know this. That's why they're hysterical and aggressive. They're afraid. They've given up persuasion. They're resorting to force. But it won't work. When honest people say what's true, calmly and without embarrassment, they become powerful. At the same time, the liars who've been trying to silence them shrink and they become weaker. That's the iron law of the universe. True things prevail. Where can you still find Americans saying true things? There aren't many places left, but there are some, and that's enough. As long as you can hear the words, there is hope. See you soon. Weird how free speech Tucker Carlson gets unceremoniously fired by Fox, and yet he fails to utter even a single word about that network in his own response to being fired. It's almost like he's afraid of what they've got on him. And it's almost like that all of his chest beating over the years was nothing but an act from a guy who's not so much concerned about free speech as he is protecting his own ass. So what's clear here is that we've probably not seen the end of what will likely be a protracted and bruising battle between Tucker Carlson and Fox News. All the while, Fox continues to shed viewers having lost more than a million eyeballs alone in just the past week during Tucker's primetime slot. And for Tucker's part, he'll likely never even come close to being able to reach the sheer number of people that he reached before. Any way you cut it, both Fox and Tucker are the losers in this situation, and the winners, those who value truth and decency and democracy, well, that would be the rest of the country. Now, for no reason at all, please enjoy this clip of Jon Stewart embarrassing the hell out of Tucker Carlson, inciting his first of what would be a sweep of firings from major media outlets. Special effort to come on the show today because I have mentioned uh, this show as being uh, uh, bad. <laughs> it's not so much that it's bad as it's hurting America. <laughs> so I, I wanted to but come here today let me, and say, wait, wait, no, I just, let me, here, here, here's just one, what I wanted to tell you guys. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop hurting America. Okay. I watch your show every day. And it kills me. I can tell you a lot. It's it. so, oh, it's so painful to watch. Your partisan, um, what do you call it, hacks. Wait, John, wait. Like, let me, let me, let me, you have a responsibility to the public discourse. And you, you fail a job at a miserably. I think you're a good comedian. I think your lectures are boring. You you're on CNN. Say. My, the show that leads into me is puppets making crank phone calls. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's someone who watches your show and cannot take it anymore. I just can't you need fail to get a job at a miserably. School, I think you need to go to one. Now this is theater. I mean, it's it's it obvious. Is, no, no, it How old are you? Thirty-five. And you wear a bow tie. Yeah, I do. I do. So, I hate to say so, all. I, I, mean, I do think you're more fun on your show. Uh, just my opinion. But can, can okay, you say, Jeff, John Stewart goes, one you know of fans. You're as big a dick on your show question. as you are on any show. <laughs> Before you go, I need your help. I'm right on the cusp of hitting 2 million subscribers, so please help me grow this channel so the progressive media ecosystem grows by hitting the subscribe button right here on the screen. I also started a Spanish channel so we can finally start regaining some of that lost ground among Spanish speakers, so if you want to help support those efforts, you can hit that subscribe button. And finally, if you listen to podcasts and you want to support mine, you'll find a link to that on the screen as well. Thanks so much for watching.